Welcome to this week's agronomy update. I am Jason Christensen, CCA agronomist at Osmus Farm Supply. In this week's ag update, I'm going to cover spider mites and aphids. With some dry areas in the Midwest, spider mites could be a present and damage fields in just seven to 10 days. Mature spider mites are yellowish orange in color with two black spots on either side of their body. They cause damage to soybeans by piercing their mouth into plant cells to remove cell contents, which can be yield damaging to the plant. Larvae are six-legged and are colorless, which oftentimes can be mistaken for nymphs or adults, but are much smaller. Fine webbing may cover the host plant if heavy infestations manifest. Spider mites typically feed on the undersides of the plants. If mite damage is suspected, shake the leaves onto a white piece of paper or paper plate and use a hand lens to confirm their presence. Soybean damage is often appears as a U or a V-shaped pattern near grassy areas or ditches. Spider mites tend to move into the crops after ditches and waterways have been mowed, so this would be a good place to start scouting. When spraying spider mites, it is crucial not to use pyrethroids as this may flare up the spider mites. When spraying for the spider mites, we would like you to use organophosphates like Lord's Band, Hero, or Bifenthrin products. Aphids are also starting to be present in the geography with reports of 20 to 30 aphids per plant. Soybean aphids are light green to pale yellowish in color. Winged aphids have a shiny black head with a dark green abdomen and are the only aphid to colonize with soybeans. Soybean aphid infestation usually starts with the youngest trifoliate leaves and upper stems. Look for ants and lady beetles because these are usually a good indicator that soybean aphids are starting to develop. There are many options when it comes to controlling aphids. If you have any questions on insecticide application on soybean aphids and spider mites, please contact your local AFS agronomist. Thank you for watching this week's agronomy update.